We are fishing locally today, back out on the Hobie kayak. Got some really strange conditions today, very, very thick fog, and it is a full moon today. And generally both those things mean very slow winds, very slow tides, and very slow fishing. So we've picked a spot locally, Campbell's Cove, and we think that's probably gonna be our best bet to try and get ourselves a good feed of flathead squid, maybe even some snapper and some whiting. And because of those slow conditions, I think this is gonna be our best chance of getting onto a few fish. It's gonna be very still out there, so hopefully we can make some things happen. So sit back and enjoy the show. All right, so to start off with, I'm actually just gonna take my kayak for a walk, and that's because here, on low tide, you get a very shallow sandbar. Now what we might have to do is, I we'll have to just jump in the kayak just for about 10 meters or so so i don't get the shoes and socks wet just paddle for a tiny bit and then jump back off and then just walk her across that sandbar because here on low tide is very 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 shallow all right cool so now we're shallow enough well let's jump off now we should be able to walk the yak across again now you do have to watch out for some of your pest species when doing this, like your banjos and your stingrays, because I have stood on one before doing this, and uh, that's not very pleasant, let me tell you now. Jump and kick off. That way, away we go. Woo, I'm stuffed already. All right, so what we are gonna start off with is just flicking some soft plastic. So I've just pulled out one of the Kitech Easy Shiners there. That is one of the four inch ones. Don't be afraid to go a little bit bigger with your soft plastics in these areas, because I'm telling you now, you will catch some big flathead and probably some of your bigger size pinkies, if not sort of smaller size snapper on these soft plastics. And obviously that imitates a bait fish really, really well. So you'll definitely get onto a few fish using something like that. So I've got two soft plastic rods and I've also got a bait rod. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly just cast that out. What I've also got is a bait rod with a Paternoster rig and I've picked up a packet of pilchards on the way from the servo. So, but let's rig up this one first. So this is just a very basic three to five kilo rod. It's a lot, lot lighter. It's more like a two to four. Just got a little 2500 Miravel. And all we're doing is just little strips of pilchard. So like that, little cubes and chunks like that. And you'll notice I've got a pattern oster rig. So around here, especially in these very, very low tides and low winds, we've got the smallest sinker, so an absolutely tiny sinker. And we're going to find having that over the side today, no doubt will account for a few fish. There's some good flathead in these grounds, so that's really our target species. Oh, here we go. Gotcha. Yep. That's a fish on. It's got a bit of weight too. Really nice flathead. And it's the oh, there's a big one chasing it, boys. Oh, he's, oh, he's. That is a good start to the day. So that is first fish, and that took about three casts. On the old, oh, whoa, 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 jeez. On the seven inch turtle back, and that bait has just been absolutely hammered, as we're showing you that, so. very thick foggy conditions the bite can be really slow so it's great to come to your bread and butter species oh he's another good flathead here so this is a good start to the day so that's two fish in that's a rock flathead as well yeah that's a rocky that's good so there you go so that's two keeper size flathead in uh, literally five minutes and wasn't doing anything that was just a pattern star that was just drifting along very very small sinker a couple of strips of pilchard and you know, there's probably two flathead between sort of 35 and 40 centimetres like that. So that's a good start to the day. One on the soft plastic and one on the bait. So that's a good start today and good eating. And if I can walk away today with a bag of flathead, maybe a bag of squid, probably a few pinkies in there as well, then that's going to be a good day. Yeah, look how clear it is, man. Yeah. That's crazy, isn't it? Just, oh, look at that, on the drop. That's a better one. Plastic. Yeah, plastic. Oh, well, there you go, that's a good hit. On the turtle back, on the drop, and this one's got some weight. Yeah, this is a much better fish. Oh, 
What is this one? Oh, it's a big flathead. Big, big flathead. Woo! Yes! So that is a nice bloody there. So that's really, really nice. Perfect eating size. So he's in the low to mid 40s. And that is a really, really nice lizard there. So we're pretty happy with that. Very feisty these. And I tell you what, they're a lot of fun when you're using light spin gear. The humble flatheads, great eating. Lots of fun, especially in these slow conditions. And I tell you what, for what should have been a pretty slow day, it's been very, very productive so far. And there is bait everywhere next to me. Just looking over the side, Look at that, you can just see flashes of silver absolutely everywhere. This is thousands and thousands of bait fish. And this is why we're doing really well on the flatter this morning. Look, so uh, look at that, you can see Travis has caught one straight away. But what's happening is, these flathead are obviously fantastic ambush predators, but there is just masses of bait everywhere. Like I've just, it's just everywhere. It's just flashing silver. And this is just absolutely fantastic. It just shows how healthy a lot of our systems are here in Port Phillip Bay. But look at that, you can just see now looking down, there is thousands and thousands of bait fish surrounding my kayak. And obviously when you've got all this volume of bait fish, I can guarantee the bigger fish are gonna come in because that is their source of food. But it's absolutely incredible. And that's all the bait there, just holding on top there, guys. It is just masses and masses and masses of fish. Now, having that Paternoster rig as a drifter is a great idea because you do pick up lots of fish. The only thing is, it can be very distracting because what I'm finding at the moment is I'm constantly jumping between the two rods. So, if it's like that we're getting lots of catches, sometimes you do need to make that call and just ditch one of the rods. But for now, what we're going to do is just going to just put him out there. Oh, here we go. Yep. See, I just picked it up. <laughs> oh, you can actually see them on the bottom. How clear it is, I actually saw the flathead take it from the bottom. Look at that. That's insane how clear the water is. See ya matey, on your way. Very, very graceful. You could just feel tap, 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 and then wait. Now what you don't want to do is you don't want to just take it away from that fish straight away. So what a lot of people do is They'll get little nibbles, they get excited and they don't get it, and then when they burn it back in straight away. The reality is that fish is still there and he's probably having a really good look at your soft plastic, so just leave it there. Oh, I got him. He chased that one. That was good. I'll just tighten this drag a little bit. That was cool. Really wanted that. I wonder if there's another flatty. Oh, this is a good flatty. There you go, so that was a real aggressive take. So we're well on our way to a good feed here. Have you got a bag of plenty? Oh, I've got about six. Yeah. I've let a heat go though, so I'm... There we go. Oh, that's a good fish. Far out. It's just pulling drag. It's so clear, you should be able to see him. I'm hoping it's a beast of a flathead. Can see some movement down there. Oh yeah, it's a good fish. It's a real nice fish. Woo! There we go. Beautiful. And right below me, there are literally millions and millions of bait fish. Did one cast, as soon as that soft plastic hit the bottom, bang, got a nice big flathead here. Alrighty, so let's have a good look at this fish. So this one was taken on a two and a half inch grub. And funny enough, I only put the two and a half inch grub on because we saw all those bait fish and there was a lot of juvenile salmon around there. And I thought we'd go for something smaller. There you go there. That's an awesome fish. So that is a beautiful big flathead. Absolutely perfect eating size. So I said, he's definitely between 45 and 50. And that is a beautiful fish. And on that light gear, they surprisingly give you quite a bit of a fight it's a great time of year to be targeting flathead and whiting and squid, all of your bread and butter species. And I'll tell you what, when you can travel 10 minutes from home and catch a lot of quality fish like that, there's nothing wrong with that at all. That's on the white one. Brilliant. The master, well done, man. 
Oh, he got me. Oh, he got me twice. Oh, oh no. All right. There we go. That took two seconds. All right, so we've got another squid on here. So this has been a very productive day all of a sudden. So, Well, this one's a bigger size, which is good. Much better size. Put the net over there. There we go. Oh, he's inking everywhere. There we go. So that's three squid in a couple of minutes. Look at that, that's a beautiful squid. And that's the one that's doing the damage there, guys. So a lot of bait fish around today. So we've gone with natural bait colors. And uh, there you go, that's another one there. All right, cool, so we've got another squid. So we're getting a good feed here today. So squid and flathead will be on the menu, that's for sure. So here's another one. Oop, I'm doing my best to lose them today. Beautiful looking squid, that one, look at that. The colors on these things. Look at that, magnificent. Oh, we're on again. There we go, look at that. So it's gone nuts. Absolutely nuts. Oh, he's dropped it, you goose. That was a big one. Bugger. That was a good one that was on, I just dropped him. So we're just gonna cast him in the same spot. With squid, as soon as you let that tension go, obviously their tentacles can loosen from the squid spike. So when you catch one, you've just got to keep winding in, keep that tension nice and tight. And that was a mistake on my behalf then, which is a shame, but put one in there and hopefully he'll come back. But that definitely felt okay too. Here we go. This time, don't let go of the tension. Okay. Made that stake just before. Here we go. Yep, oh, there's another good squid. They're getting slightly bigger now, which is really good. So, well on our way to probably getting a bag of squid, which is awesome. So there we go. Look at that. That mullet looking color is just slaying the squid at the moment. So that's fantastic. So. Yep, got one. All right, so we've got another. Oh, oh, it's held on by one tentacle. Look at that. One tentacle on the gold one. Got him. Oh! <laughs> All right, so there is another squid. So we are well on our way to a bag here. And what's really good is, even on these days that you think are gonna be really slow, really foggy, really slow tides, full moon, you can still come out here, and if you target the right things in the right waters, you can still have a really productive day. And for us, that was just being content with targeting your bread and butter species. You know what, we're gonna get a bag of flathead, a bag of squid, and the day's still early. So, um, here we go. Yep, straight on. Were you working that one? Nah. Nah, was not working that one at all. There we go. Cool, and there's another one. Yep, got him. <laughs> another one. There we go, it's a good one. Tighten this drag a little bit. This is a better one. There we go. As soon as you get to this spot, it's just bang, it's instant. There we go. There is another. That was insane. Yep, got him. Right on the drop. Yeah, it feels good. Look at that. There is another beautiful squid. Ripping squid. Well, that's a wrap, everyone. And what an awesome morning it's been out here. Bag of squid bag of flathead 
an assortment of other fish all done before 11 a.m. And the great thing is that weather is just starting to turn a little bit now. So it's the perfect time to get off the water. And it means you're gonna go home with a really good bag of fish. Now, if you're watching this and you're thinking you're struggling yourself with your catch rates or things just haven't been working out for you, go and check out the Fishing Mad members area because there's a lot of insight to where we're fishing, what we're doing. So there's reports with GPS marks, but there's also a lot of insight into what to look for. Example, today we picked this spot specifically because we knew there's a full moon, certain tides, clear water clarity, it's been a northerly wind. So you kind of put all those things together. We knew it was gonna be a slow day out there and yet we were still able to turn that into a really, really productive session on the water. Definitely go and check it out. It's www.fishingmad.com.au forward slash member. It has been an awesome morning out here. So pretty keen to get off the water now and take home a really good bag of fish that I know the family will be pretty thrilled to get stuck into for some great eating during the week. Anyway, guys, I really appreciate your company. I hope that you've enjoyed the episode and I look forward to seeing you out on the water sometime soon.